Hello everybody and welcome back to some more adventures in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. So, last time a whole lot of uh, important plot stuff happened. We learned who the antagonist of the game is. Xemnas, who is apparently the nobody of Xehanort, who was Heartless as Ansem, the boss of the first game. So that's kind of cool how it's like one guy split into two pieces, basically Ansem, who was the main villain of the first game, and now his nobody, Xemnas, is the main villain of the second game. I think that's pretty cool. Also, Goofy apparently kind of died, but then, no, he absolutely didn't. You know, it's some pretty basic stuff. Before we go on to the new worlds, or rather, revisiting old worlds, we got some stuff to do in Hollow Bastion. So the very first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to the postern, because after you beat the Battle of the Vaz and Heartless, the fairies will be over here, and we should talk to them. Hey, Riku, stop that scene and listen to... Huh? You? Riches, riches, I'm so happy! Uh, you? Approach. Liars! What? Leon doesn't have any treasure! And we fought for you guys. You pushed one rock on one Heartless, and he just fell. He didn't even die. Donald! Well, I had to kill him something. I had to lie! <laughs> I don't see how we're gonna work this out. So what should we do? We talked to Tom Nook, and he says that we should you should go a million bells in debt and repay it all. But it's okay because you can get a cool house out of it. We're just going to take your treasure. But we don't have anything. You sure? <laughs> oh, well, we've got like 3,000 money. That'll do. Hmm. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Her feet are big. Ooh. Hey, Uni, took yeah, they're dirt poor. <laughs> okay, we've decided. The Gullwings are taking all your items. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, Foofy. This stinks. <laughs> we'll fight you. So not cool. Look, sorry we tricked you. Donald but... tricked you, but... Forget about it. Leon told us the whole story. He said your journey's been pretty rough. So it wouldn't really be right if we took your things. We'll root for you. Here, this is from us. Good luck on your journey. <laughs> you owe us money. We don't have anything. Oh, jeez, you really don't. Okay, we'll actually take pity on you and give you something. In this treasure chest, we get... The Gullwing Keyblade increases the amount of experience gained by 100% when defeating an enemy at a critical moment. This is... This Keyblade has really bad stats, but it is the Keyblade for level grinding. Gullwing, yeah. Has two strength... Oh, three magic? I thought it only had two. Oh, that's better than I thought. But yeah, this is the level grinding keyblade. Uh, we already have experience boost, so if we have this and the Gullwing keyblade equipped at the same time, if our HP is below 50%, we get quadruple experience points. So that's how we're going to be level grinding. I'm not going to equip it as my main weapon yet, though. Okay. Ooh. Mid. <laughs> Bazaar anklet, yeah. That's good. That's good. All right, and then we've got ice cream in the picture. Two most important items in the whole game. Oh, new abilities. For Sora? Oh yeah, Guard Break. Unleashes a powerful finishing combo move that pierces through a target's guard. That's a really good ability. We are equipping that. Uh, gotta use some AP boosts. <laughs> you actually used them on Diamond. <laughs> no! Alright, yeah, Guard Break is a really good combo finisher. You absolutely want to use it. Really powerful. Anyhow, now we're going to Merlin's house, because uh, Winnie the Pooh has invited us to his house for a small smack of of honey. By that I mean we have a new torn page, so we got a new minigame to do. Yes. Hello there, somebody I don't know. Kanga and Roo! Eeyore told me Pooh wasn't quite himself. I thought this might be just what the poor dear needed. Yeah, 
I hope it'll make Poo better. If Tigger is a wonderful thing, the top some bit of rubber, the bottom some bit of strings. <laughs> a present for me? <laughs> Why, presents are what Tigger's like best, and it's not even my birthday. <laughs> Tigger. But Tigger, that's not for you. I love medicine. Hey, Tigger. Of all the Hundred Acre Wood characters, I think Tigger is the one, the voice that I can do the worst. Like, I feel like I could do a better Kanga voice than a Tigger voice. <laughs> Bouncing with Tigger's the best. I, I, I can't do it. I feel like my Pooh voice is decent. My Eeyore voice is good. Piglet and Rabbit are okay. <laughs> Gophers! All right, Chunny. Daylight puzzle piece, AP boost, yeah. Or a calcum. Dang, Kanga, you're hiding good stuff at your house. The mailboxes read Kanga and Rue. Giant treasure chest, heck yeah. The ma a magic boost? Oh, dang, I'm using that right away. <laughs> What's everyone doing here? Is something going to take place? Maybe a honey competition or a race? Ask for the bottle. We'll ask for it later. We have to stop Tigger quick or he'll drink it all. <laughs> Drinking whiskey is what Tigger's like best. I don't know what's in that bottle. Tigger is always bouncing no matter where he is. He, we used to all bounce together, but it seems Pooh's forgotten that too. If Tigger would only just listen a little more. This is terrible. We have to get that medicine back from Tigger. Okay, my Kanga voice sucks too, I admit it. I can do a good Eeyore though. <laughs> You're saying Pooh even forgot about me? <laughs> yes, Tigger. <laughs> that bottle you thought was a present was medicine to make Pooh better. Da, who needs medicine? Why, some Tiggerific bouncing will jog his memory for sure. <laughs> Can we go on a honeypot race again, like last time? That was the best. <laughs> well, Pooh? That looks like fun, somebody I don't know. Nothing, huh? Hmm. Of course, we all gotta bounce together! That'll do the trick! Woohoohoo! Balloon bounce. Pop the number of target pop the target number of balloons before time runs out. Time your jump on the trampoline by pressing triangle at the right time for a special jump. Time your bounce on the balloon by pressing triangle at the right time for a special bounce. So this is a really short but pretty fun game. <laughs> we can climb up the level by it. Oh my gosh! Wow, we already cleared it. <laughs> you can go really high if you do everything right. That's a really simple short name. I bet you remember me now, don't you, Buddy Bear? Well, I remember that bouncing always makes me hungry. Oh, that bouncing and he still doesn't remember me. Well, then I guess bouncing's not the answer. It makes a Tigger almost never want to bounce again. <laughs> Oh, please be careful with that. Yeah, don't just throw glass I'm bottles. Sorry, little piglet. But Pooh not remembering me has me confused. I don't even feel like bouncing. Oh, but Tigger. I always thought that bouncing was what Tiggers did best. Pooh boy! <gasps> you remember me. You do remember your old buddy Tigger after all. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people hate the Hundred Acre Wood. I, I, I like the Hundred Acre Wood. They did a really good job of it in two. Heffalumps and woozles. I wonder who that is. Oh well. Perhaps I'll remember tomorrow. Oh well, he wasn't very, he wasn't actually in any of the books or Pooh movies. So he really doesn't matter. It's like how Gopher doesn't matter as much as the others. Oh, 
Oh, we don't even get... I guess we got Orichalcum, so that's cool. Alright, off to the world map. Alright, I'm going to Land of the Dragons. Do it in battle order. I wonder how everybody's doing. Work! Wait! Sora! Mulan, hey, no time to talk. We gotta catch that guy. I'm following him too. Then let's go! Oh yeah, Land of Dragons Part 2. Sorry, Donald, you're not in the party. Ah, oh, man, I always get excluded in every Let's Play. <laughs> All right, well, it's been a while since we visited the Moogle shop. Uh, I have one of those, one of those, one of those. Cool, got one of all those. Synthesize, handed over all synthesis materials. We get a power boost for completing the collection. We get a defense boost. Oh, wow, nice. Yeah, we can't make the AP boost, free development. Wow, we can't make anything for free development either. Really? All that work and still nothing. That's disappointing. Anyhow. Power boost? Gee, I wonder who I'm going to use it on. Ah, boy, no. Ah, man. Don't tease me like that. I wonder if we can get any of these stickers. Heart, heart puzzle piece. Alright, I don't no, I don't think I can get that one until I get max level high jump plus max level aerial dodge. Oh hey! It's two random army members. We're actually supposed to be patrolling the mountain, but it's so cold and windy, so we don't feel like it. Well we can see the mountain from here. I'm sure that's exactly the same. The ridge. Wow, he's slow. He, he waited for us to go to the Moogle shop and talk to people before moving higher up the mountain. It's over. Yeah, that's guard break where I did like the sliding dash a second time. Oh, hey, nobody's in the Land of the Dragons. That's not common. Ooh, now we start getting Twilight Shards. Nice. Yeah, Dusks can drop Twilight Shards, but only after you leave Twilight Town. And because um, Twilight Town's at the very beginning, you don't really encounter Dusks after that until really late in the game. Yeah, you're not getting the Twilight or Dense Materials for a while. Because Twilight and Dense Materials Looks are dropped like by nobodies away. exclusively. But they never drop in the tutorial, Twilight Town. How come you're after somebody from Organization 13? What is that? <laughs> I just saw a guy in a cool black coat and wanted to know where he got it. I knew it. There's a rumor in the Imperial City about a spy in black lurking in the mountains. I'd been up here tracking him, but when you arrived, I lost him. You're welcome. Sorry. Don't apologize, but I do wonder where he went. Boy, this again. again. Well, I'm ditching you just like last time. <laughs> okay, first things first. Oh boy. Hey, you! Quit sneaking around. Defeat the mysterious man. Hey, we've seen that weapon before, haven't we? Also, Donald, Goofy, and Mulan all just ran off without us. Yeah, we're fighting... Probably Riku. But who can really say? Also, this guy doesn't get staggered from your attacks, which can be a little irritating. I think he needs to pay some limit for him. 
Oh uh, yeah. Use last arcanum on the man, not on the rapid thruster. Rapid thrusters I don't care about. Wow, that guy just shrugged off his anti-suit. There we go. Yeah, you don't actually have to kill him. He's like, <laughs> you're good, but I'm better. That guy. No. Why would he? Riku? <laughs> Could be. Or someone else got Riku's soul eater. <laughs> we killed all the rest of the rapid frosters. <laughs> yeah, right. He's gone. What? You lost him? She's like, really? <laughs> anyway, what now? I think that we better get rid of all the heartless first. Goofy is now officially team leader. What was that? Come on, we better get off the mountain. Okay. <laughs> By the way, you like my new pants? <laughs> you look like you're when you were 13. <laughs> yeah, but my pants are longer. <laughs> they look pretty good. <laughs> We get Donald back, yeah. <laughs> I know you want me into party. <laughs> oh, not particularly Donald, actually. Oh, I think it kicked us out of limit form then. Oh, hey. That's a big Heartless. It may or may not be Sean Yu's Heartless. Unless we just flat out killed him. Actually, we may have just flat out killed him. We've got to warn Shang. <laughs> Shane's like, I didn't get medical attention for my wounds from the first visit yet, and now you want me to fight this guy? <laughs> Poor Shane. You, you guys left me to die! <laughs> well, that happens sometimes, Shane. <laughs> the Emperor's like, who the butts are you? <laughs> I come in peace. <laughs> also, one annoying thing about uh, revisiting worlds is that it makes you forget all of your save points. So if you want to spawn in at the save points, you have to touch them again. Go back to all the rooms. Hand over our one Twilight Shard. So we can't just warp to the Bamboo Grove. Oh, hey, Nightwalkers! We haven't seen you guys in forever. <laughs> and that was a Neo Shadow. You dropped a Dark Stone for us. Man, Neo Shadows, you are way easier to beat in this than you were in Chain of Memories. Emerald Screens, you guys are back? Actually, wait a second. Moron, do you have Lucky Lucky? No, you don't. Donald, do you have Lucky Lucky? No, but I will give you... Fire Boost. Or... Fantasia's also pretty good. Nah, Fire Boost. Hey, dang, Shazam, I can hit anybody with fire anyway. It's over. Yeah. Oh. Back off. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Mulan. Man, Milan is so much better when she's not in pain. Yeah, there's no way I can get that puzzle piece yet. Ooh, I get fall. Oh, fire boost is a good ability. <laughs> it makes 
Fire boost increases damage done with fire-based attacks by 20%. That's pretty good. Because fire hits multiple times, getting a 20% boost on each of those attacks is really, really good when compared to just like a 20% boost in your blizzard power. Give me that fire boost. Oh, hi, Nightwalkers! I'm gonna go Master Form, because these guys drop a lot of Dry Boards upon their defeat. How did that not trigger the Reflex? Also, they, they don't drop as many Dry Boards as I thought they did. <laughs> Checkpoint! Air Pirates? This isn't Neverland. Well, that was kind of a waste. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the Bamboo Grove just because I need to touch the save point if I want to spawn there. Plus, man, they didn't leave anyone in charge of looking after the camp. It's like, oh, uh, Heartless, uh, I don't, we don't really care about that. They can just tear up the tents. Actually, I guess it was just Sora who tore up the tents. I'm back. <laughs> that was fast, Mulan. She got knocked unconscious for like literally three seconds. She's like, oh, no, I'm back. <laughs> Take a lesson, Donald. Or maybe it's just because the battle ended, and that's why. <laughs> Heart puzzle piece. Oh wait, that's the really? I thought the bam that that led to the bamboo. No, stop. Sora's like, well, I don't know why you wanted me to keep going back to camp, but okay. <laughs> Oh no, that very clearly leads to the bamboo grove. I'm dumb. Ooh, lightning stone. Oh, hey, what are you doing here? What was that huge shadow? It looked like it was heading towards the palace. To get there, follow the path out of the checkpoint as it curves right. Thanks, dude. No Moogle shop. Guess the Moogle shop only exists in the mountain. Just like Big John steak and onion. It's over. Take this. Sword just casually destroys a cart full of fireworks with a finishing move. Pretty basic stuff. Huh? Everything's fine. Well now. Oh. <laughs> Look who decided to show up. What? Is that a problem? Nah. We're just glad you're not in black clothes. You saw him? That was not Mulan's voice. Yeah, he's in the palace. Oh boy. Defeat all of the Harlots. Can I just defeat some of them? No. Sorry. <laughs> Had to navigate the command menu there. Mulan's limit's pretty up, boss. Or it looks really cool, even if it doesn't deal tons of damage. Oh wow, Mulan, actually, your limit really sucks. I should have done well. I should have swapped you out for Donald and done Trinity with it. Bolt reversal. Gotta match the triangle button. I just realized I haven't shown off Master Genie yet. Oh hey, it's Master Genie. Master Genie. 
<laughs> Alright, Master Genie, yeah. Does a bunch of spin attacks, then he like sucks enemies in his mouth and then spits them out. It's pretty cool. To the palace, hurry! I keep doing the pain voice. <laughs> to the palace, hurry. <laughs> you want Master Genie! Yeah. I do want Master yeah. Genie. Go around. Milan's got the right idea. Sword, you have the keyblade. You can unlock the door. But I forgot. <laughs> Good thing we coated our fingers in adhesive so we can climb up here. Dang. Sword's like, I'm used to doing this from Kingdom Hearts 1. Oh no, she's gonna fall two feet! <laughs> yeah, in Kingdom Hearts 1, Sora could shimmy up these bars. Like in Neverland. Kill him, Valor Genie, Wait. Master Genie. Riku? Oh. No, never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> I could have teleported, but didn't have to. <laughs> so now we get to fight a new type of nobody. These are snipers. Let's show them the power of Master G's Arcadia. <laughs> yeah, he's he's shooting stuff out of his mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Genie, over and out. Also, there's a reactor command. Yep, warp snipe. Where you like teleport and ricochet their attacks back at them. It's really effective. Oh, hi! Let's warp snipe all of them. We'll all live the warp snipe. You're in trouble. I'm, I got this, Mulan. Don't worry. <laughs> Guess it wasn't Riku. <laughs> Sorry, Sora. I can't stay. I'm worried about Shane. We never gave him medical treatment. <laughs> oh, right! He did take a stab wound to the chest that we forgot about. <laughs> Your Excellency, Shane, something terrible has happened. We saw a huge monster fly out of the mountains and toward the city. Ah, so it is as that young man said. Isn't that right, Captain? Y yes, Your Excellency. You see, a young stranger visited us not long ago. The captain fought the visitor, but was quickly defeated. To my dishonor. It seems that young man was the one in black I have heard whispers about. Did he mention the name Riku? He didn't offer his name. He was rather rude. <laughs> rude? Then it was Riku! <laughs> He's the only rude person. Rikers and the organization? Gorsh. But why would he come here? I'll check outside. Mulan. Shane, guard the Emperor. Can I please go to the hospital now? <laughs> I'll be fine with them. What about me? <laughs> Th that's right. Indeed, that is true. We need not worry while you protect us. Hurry! Alright, well now we actually get access to the throne room. Oh, hey Shane. 
Be careful. Anything can happen in battle. I know when I got stabbed in the chest. <laughs> be aware of your surroundings and use anything that can give you an advantage. Move, move your butt. Can I, oh, okay, I have to jump up here. Mm, to combat a flying opponent, one must fly himself. Birds know that height means dominancy. Fly high and maybe you'll spot a weakness. Thanks, bro. Okay. What's in this chest? It is the palace map. Ooh, two chests back here. One has Oracalcum. One has a Mithril Crystal. Nice. And this chest has more torn pages. <laughs> Those are ancient Chinese relics from a book called Winnie the Pooh, which is no longer allowed in China. <laughs> AP boost. Man, <laughs> we're just stealing all of the royal recipes. Oh, the queen recipe. That gives us Donald's ultimate weapon. The Augur Shield <laughs> and an AP boost. Oh man, Goofy. What can that Ogre Shield do for- Wait, why does Goofy not have any- Oh, does he not have any armor because he quote-unquote died? That doesn't make much sense. Ogre Shield, a shield with great strength that also blocks various attacks. Increases defense by free in critical situations. Well, that's the best shield we have. There you go, Goofy. Okay. That's why Goofy was dying so fast. Protect Belt. Fire I got a bangle. And we'll give him the Aegis Chain. Soldier Earring, that's... That's pretty good. Let's give him the Soldier Earring. Okay, wow. We got so much stuff. Queen Recipe, an ancient synthesis recipe written in a language only understood by Moogles. Ain't that convenient, Koopo. Alright, well, Goofy probably can equip more... Oh, Goofy... Oh my gosh, why? No wonder Goofy... Oh, I he had Lucky Lucky and I didn't have it equipped. That's bogus. Oh, no. Wow. I am tick. Why would it... Why would it do that? Why would it do that? <laughs> Gorsh, you could have had loads of more synthesis materials if you had just known that it automatically unequipped all of my equipment after I quote unquote died. <laughs> it's like, so Go Goofy gets hit by a rock. We think he's dead. It's like, well, better strip him of all of his armor and accessories and turn off all his abilities. <laughs> really? Also, Mulan, you kind of suck. I'm bringing Donald. Yeah, you are. You got good taste. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the palace gate. And now we fight the boss, uh, the final boss of Land of Dragons. It's Storm Rider. He's an interesting fight, and I freaking love this music. Mulan, you're not part of this battle. Those little striped horns on his top. That those are his weak points. We're gonna use the reaction command paint on so he doesn't knock us off. And we're gonna let go now and attack at the top. Get rid of his wings. There we go. Now he collapses. Yeah, there we go, Goofy. Now you're helping out. But Goofy still had his Dream Cloud equipped, which seems strange. Alright, so now he's in the sky again. But now he makes these Ride the Wind Tornadoes so he can use these to jump on his head. Well, if we timed it correctly, we could. Yeah, so these horns will cause him to sink to the ground. He can also attack his head up here, but... It's much easier to just make him collapse. Oh yeah, Valor form. Oh man, he knocked me down. Stop. 
snide and vertical with a toss to knock him out. That's a fun move. Now we can just wail on him again. Alright, well we can't... <laughs> Donald's dead! Who's surprised? Take that, Storm Rider. And we get another Thunder Element, so now we have Fundara. Goofy learns Tornado Fusion. Nice. That's a cool fight. I like that. Roar! <laughs> and then Mulan dies. Sora, who's right next to Mulan, doesn't do anything. Shane runs out of the palace, runs under Mulan, grabs her in time. Man, Sora, you're worthless. And this is wow, he has a flesh wound in his chest. Shane is the boss. Way to go. See, Sora, that's how you're supposed to save people when they need saving. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> we can't do that till we're um, dating officially. Sorry. <laughs> the Emperor's like, all right, wait for them to defeat the Heartless and for Shane to hold Mulan's hand, then launch the fireworks. Yes, Emperor. <laughs> Once again, you have served China well. It would please me to reward you. <laughs> that was a good fire. Goofy's like, I'm kind of hungry. Well... You say a guy in black came to see you. What did he say? <laughs> we don't really need we don't really need rewards. We already robbed everything that's in your throne room. That is all you request? Yes. Dragons have crossed our land and left a great web of paths. These dragons wield much power, and they are the source of many gifts to both man and nature. But it would seem someone of evil intent disturbed one of our dragons and transformed it into what you call a heartless. And that's Storm Rider. It is my belief that this young man came to warn me of that danger. Then I could alert and prepare my troops. Did you? <laughs> I was about to, <laughs> but he told me this. <laughs> Did you? I only have five troops. Surely you realize this. The situation had changed. <laughs> he said three wise guys had arrived, and they would take care of things. <laughs> That's gotta be Riku. But he had an eye patch. <laughs> but what's he doing hanging out with Organization 13? <laughs> that was a different organization member. No idea. But at least I finally know he's okay. That's good enough. Yeah, that's done. Now then, Famula, do you have a request? <laughs> I'd like Shang. Uh, I mean, what, uh, the captain. Yes, yes, my dear, what is it? <laughs> Go on a date. <laughs> Could the captain have a vacation, please? <laughs> he still has the wound in his chest, needs medical attention. <laughs> I hardly expected such humble requests. In this case, I'm afraid I must refuse. <laughs> Captain Lee's responsibility is to protect the Emperor. And yet, Mulan... Yes. Would you like to serve alongside him and protect me? I thought that already was her job. Two reeds together are stronger than one. <laughs> the choice is yours alone. <laughs> Maybe if you let him heal his wounds, he'd be less incompetent. Thank you, Your Excellency. Cute. The Land of Dragons. We have officially beaten the world now. You know you've officially beaten the world when you see the title screen appear again. Well, dang, Emperor, you had good stuff in there. 
<laughs> a new episode has been added to Hollow Bastion Winnie the Pooh. Uh, before we end the episode, though, I'm going to hand over more stuff to the Moodle Shop. Oh, wow, they rebuilt the village. Hey, that's nice. Good for them. Wait, where did the Moodle Shop go? Oh, there's the Moodle Shop. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now we should... Oh, hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Okay, well, 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 I guess we'll work on that later. Hand it over all recipes. Nice. New recipe we have Save the Queen. Needs two Oracalcums. Free. Oh, we have we need a lot of dense materials for that. And we have none of them. Oh, we can make the power band. Or we can make the experts rain. I'm gonna make Mithril Stone, Mithril Quest. Actually, we might be able to make both. Yeah, I think we can make both. Let's use the bright stone. Level that up. We get the power band. Extremely increases defense. Nice. Moogle leveled up! Rank B recipe materials cut by half. Items and creations can be synthesized using only half the materials. Cool. <laughs> cool. Uh, do I want to save a mithril crystal by using an energy gem? I have two of them, so yes. Synthesized material experts rain exceedingly increases maximum AP. Nice! Oh wow, look at all this stuff. This is what we need. What to synthesize first? Alright, so I already did the soldier. The soldier earring would be a good one. Use a serenity stone and a bright stone, and we get the fencer earring. Highly increases maximum AP and strength, and also increases magic. That's nice. Let's do the drive recovery. We'll do a serenity shard. And... Right shard. We can only use two. And we get a high drive recovery. Restores all drive gauges, usable only from the main menu. That's yeah, gonna be a nice one. Alright, and that's all. Well, that's still a good amount. Sweet. Alright, I'm gonna try to get that puzzle piece now. Sword, just jump up the building. It's not that hard. Oh, no. Rats, alright. I think what I will do, though, that now that we've beaten Land of Dragons, we have a decent spot to level up Master Form. If we go to the Throne Room, there's a save point right next to the door. Actually, wait, no. This isn't a very good spot to level up Master Form until after, ironically, we beat the next Hundred Acre Wood area. <laughs> Anyhow, that's it for today, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We'll be going back to Beast's Castle. But first, we'll be completing uh, the next Hundred Acre Wood chapter. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.